Why do we give neoadjuvant chemotherapy? I've dealt with this before here at Breast Cancer Answers. Well, the chemotherapy can be given up front if we know that somebody is node positive, they have a large tumor in their breast, we want to start treating the whole body right away. Another factor in neoadjuvant chemotherapy through the years is to shrink the cancer down in the breast to make the breast more operable. The response to neoadjuvant chemotherapy is highly variable. For some cancers, after one or two cycles, wham, it appears the cancer is completely gone. Now, whether that will actually be the case once you operate on the breast remains to be seen. Please remember, at least in most settings, getting a follow-up MRI examination, and you can, this can be coupled with ultrasound as well, can be a really helpful way of knowing how effective the uh, neoadjuvant uh, chemotherapy has been. Frankly, you can even do a PET scan if you wanted to as well to see how much response there has been. Here's the problem. At the microscopic level, you can still have little islands of cancer remaining behind. I have sort of uh, tongue-in-cheek referred to this as the Swiss cheese uh, response to neoadjuvant chemotherapy, meaning there are big holes where the cancer has died, but there are islands around where uh, the cancer uh, can remain at the microscopic level. So I get asked this question a lot. Uh, gee, I, I really want a, a lumpectomy, Dr. Harness, uh, and the MRI shows a really good response, or maybe the ultrasound shows a really good response. So doing breast conservation then also depends on the size of the cancer versus the size of the breast and also incorporates within that the skills of your breast surgeon which is, again, a reason why I've emphasized the importance of being with a multidisciplinary team, working with breast surgeons or a breast surgeon that is really familiar with oncoplastic reconstruction techniques and a variety of things. Uh, quite frankly, I just did a case recently of a very large area in the breast. That there was a really good response to the chemotherapy, and I said to the patient, all right, look, we're going to try the lumpectomy. We put bracketing wires in, outlining the area where the cancer was, take that area out and see what we've got under the microscope, because the microscope is the sort of final arbiter, if you will, of all of this. And so you can always do a mastectomy, but if you do a mastectomy first, obviously you lose the opportunity to do a lumpectomy. If you happen to be in a set of circumstances where you're in disagreement, now that you've had your neoadjuvant chemo with either your medical oncologist or your surgeon, get another opinion. Go to a place where there's another or better or whatever multidisciplinary team and get another opinion. So this is kind of a big overview of a complicated question. Hopefully this provides you with the answer that you need. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness, and I want to share with you important information that I believe that every newly diagnosed patient with breast cancer needs to know. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.